What's up guys, Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com, and in this video I want to talk to you about the 737 Trailing Edge Flap Asymmetry. You're always going to have a flap asymmetry on your check ride for an initial type rating. Let's talk about it because the flap asymmetry tends to come when the flap is in motion either between 5 and 1 or 1 and up. And if it happens to be between 1 and up, it's a slightly different look at the checklist or a different protocol. So I'm going to take you to it now in the QRH. It's chapter 9, which is your flight controls, trailing edge flap asymmetry. That's where we're going to go right now. Let me open it up. Here it is. I'm going to give you a look at it now. Here's your trailing edge flap asymmetry checklist. And I want to point attention right here to the point where it says set the flap lever to the nearest uh, detent that is equal to or less than the smallest indicated flap position. Choose one, flap lever set to 30, or flap lever set to 15 or 25, or flap lever set to one or greater and less than 15, or flap lever set to up. Four different options. Let's take a look at this one. Flap lever is set to up. As a friendly reminder before we proceed, remember, it's asking us to place the flap handle in the detent that is nearest to or equal to the least indicated flap position. So if the least indicated is up, the flap handle goes to up. If the least indicated is one, or greater and less than 15, then we're gonna to go to a different part of the checklist here. We're gonna to go to the one that says the flap lever is set to the up position. It directs us to go to the trailing edge flaps up landing checklist. So I'm headed that direction now. Here's your trailing edge flaps up checklist. And you're gonna notice that the trailing edge flaps up checklist says choose one, trailing edge flap asymmetry exists. Yes, it does. Go to step two, step two. Alternate flaps master switch arm, alternate flaps position switch momentary down. Hmm, alternate flaps, master switch, arm. Despite the fact that in the previous trailing edge flap asymmetry checklist, it says do not attempt to move the trailing edge flaps with the alternate flap switch because there's no asymmetry protection. So what's the story, Joe? So let's take a look at this because it can be a little bit confusing if you happen to get this failure. And what I wanna do really is prop this camera up for a second and explain something to you. We have something known as the flap slot electronic unit, okay? The flap slot electronic unit, FSEU. It's a box that monitors for asymmetry. And if there is an, asymm an asymmetry condition detected, it's going to cut power to our flaps, specifically hydraulic power, so we no longer have any more motion of the trailing edge flaps. Now, just because we lose the trailing edge flaps does not mean we lose the ability to still utilize our leading edge devices. Remember, we have leading edge flaps and slats. So, here's your airfoil. Keep in mind I'm holding the camera and explaining at the same time, so bear with me here. Leading edge flaps extend a little bit more down than the slats do, which extend further forward. And then, of course, we have these trailing edge flaps like such. The flap slat electronic unit, which is a box, works with the trailing edge devices only and not with the leading edge devices. The leading edge devices via the alternate flap switch, the moment we arm the alternate flap switch and we momentarily select the downward position, the leading edge slats, which is outboard of the engine, will go to their full extend position. The leading edge flaps, which is inboard of the engine, will also go to their full extend position. And now we have the trailing edge flaps back here that still happen to have the asymmetry issue. However, we've effectively increased the camber or the wing size by utilizing our leading edge flaps and slats over here. And this is why the checklist directs us to the trailing edge flaps up landing checklist so that we can gain the benefit of having the leading edge devices deployed. And we're going to only utilize the up down switch momentarily because remember we don't have trailing edge flap asymmetry protection. So we don't want to sustain that downward force because we don't want to further aggravate or exasperate our asymmetry condition. However, what we do certainly want to do is get the, the benefit, that being a lower approach speed and therefore lower touchdown speed, of utilizing our leading edge devices with the selection of the momentary down on the alternate flaps. Hopefully that makes sense. And remember, you're only going to apply this if the flap handle happens to be an up. Otherwise, you'll just follow the QRH as it guides you uh, to really not ever touch the alternate flaps in that particular case. This is one of these kind of interesting special ca special cases, special scenarios, all right? So, hope this message finds you well. You guys know the name, Juan. Enjoy your friends and training program success. By the way, if you want to come and do training with us here, we are a full 142 school. We can issue you type ratings. We can issue you FAA ATP licenses. We have Alexis and Diego Monica here. Here's our course catalog. I just want to share with you here really quick our upgrade program. Grab it for you. Has all our pricing here. 
of course, subject to change depending upon SIM availability and what SIM current SIM market rates are. Uh, let's see, upgrade seven thousand nine hundred ninety-five bucks. You want to come do an initial with us? Take a look. Here's your upgrade training, seventy-nine ninety-five. Three days of ground school with an oral, three SIMs and a PC. Or maybe you want to come do an initial with us. Here's your initial type rating, fourteen four ninety-seven. You're looking at six days of ground school, two days in a flat panel trainer with an oral, and six SIMs with a loft and a PC. We'd love to work with you. On the 320 as well, ATP CTP 737, A320. Let's work together. Juan, enjoy your friends and training program success. We'll see you here in Miami.